Hey, welcome back to the Improvement Channel. Today we're going to improve the shop with a brand new metal rack. I can't wait to get started. Let's go. painted this last night so that it would be ready to go today and it is scrap piece of 2 by 10 plastic lumber you might remember this from the uh, indoor outdoor plant stand that we made that said it would last forever I'll put a link here check that out but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this across the bottom and then when the steel comes down it'll have something sort of soft to hit instead of chipping up my concrete in the garage floor and yeah, I think it's gonna be perfect for that. So let's get that attached. Hey, thanks for sticking around so far through the video. We're about halfway done. I've got some other really cool things we're gonna do. I'm gonna put some plastic lumber up on the side of the wall in a hopefully kind of decorative look so that mostly I don't damage my sheetrock and the metal, metal rack keeps looking good. I want it to look neat in the shop. I want this to be something where I can go and get metal when I need it, but have a good look. So here I am marking the studs. And what I'm having to do here is build some spacers so that, you know, I, I have my rack tied up against the wall, but it's still working plumb because there's an offset at the bottom with the concrete and with the baseboard. As you can see, the, we're dimpled here a little bit on this inch and a half material. I 
I had some felt furniture pads, so I added that. So when my door hits the metal rack, then it doesn't do any damage to it. Okay, so here's our almost completed metal rack. Everything is actually pretty complete. It's bolted to the wall. It's not gonna go anywhere. The bottom has the plastic on the bottom to keep the metal up off the floor, which I want. We'll have a rust situation there if I'm hosing the garage floor down. Also, we're gonna have an exposed piece of baseboard. And when you're putting a scrap piece in, you're gonna have to kind of be careful not to hit the sheetrock on the way down, but also not to hit the baseboard. And then, you know, you're gonna lean this up against the sheetrock. What's gonna happen there? It's gonna look rough in no time. I'd like to thank everybody that's been hitting that share button and sharing this with a friend. It's been really helping. My ratings have gone way up. Thank you for that. Also, please take a minute, hit that like button, and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It just really helps. So here you see me doing some finishing touches. This is all really just cosmetic stuff, but it's pretty functional because it gives me a good place to lean my, sh my metal up without damaging the sheetrock or anything else. And I think it has a good look overall. Love to hear what you think about it, uh, the white and the black kind of look. Drop me a comment down there. One more thing I would like to hear about is what do a lot of you other weekend warriors or people that are welding out of your garage, what do you do with all of your metal? I'd love to find out that on the comments. May you give me some ideas on how to expand mine. I actually have to take my extremely long stuff, meaning I've got a 10 foot ceiling. So when it runs longer than 10 feet, I have to run it out to uh, my hidden shed. I'll, I'll put a card in the description if you haven't seen the hidden shed video, but of course I can put much longer things out there since it's 40 feet long. This 10 by 20 foot area is dedicated for the welding table, welding area. Also have a three bays total. So I've got two more bays, 10 by 20 and 10 by 20 to make a 30 by 20 area in case I need to move all both cars out and start a big project. Try not to hit the tripod. Okay. Oh, my foot did. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get you to not do. Feels so much better to have this all cleaned up. YouTube's going to suggest a video that might be best for you, and here are a couple other videos you might be interested in. Uh, please subscribe and check out all the videos on my channel. Thanks a lot.